Factsverse presents Retired man converts old bus into his dream home, and when you see inside, you'll be impressed too. Many people look forward to the day that they can retire. They no longer need to get up for work every morning. They don't have to worry about spending their entire day at work. There are no more commutes and there's no more stress at work. There are some people who are only a few weeks into their retirement and suddenly they don't know what to do with all of this newfound time and freedom. Well, a 70-year-old man named Greg Flint, he was having some trouble figuring out what to do with his downtime, and he decided to sell his house and then build a new one out of an old bus. And what you see inside, you'll be amazed. We'll show you some photos in just a moment. First, help us spread the word about Facts First by clicking that like button. And also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Craig Flint says he's always loved small homes on wheels. He loved the idea of the simplicity, the economy, and the fact that he'd need less stuff. Well, originally, Greg was a skilled artisan and stonemason who was planning to rebuild this bus, known as Buster, for a couple who he was friends with. They were going to have him repair the bus and get it ready so that they could drive it to Mexico. Sadly, though, the couple split up before taking possession of the bus that Greg had already been working on. So Greg decided to jump at this opportunity. He asked if the couple would be willing to sell him the bus. When they told him that they didn't want any money for it, they just wanted to get rid of it, he was thrilled. He says he fell in love the first time he saw Buster, and all along he had a vision for the transformation. Since they were giving him this bus rather than selling it to him, he had some more money for his project. Greg's nickname is Papa Smurf, and when you see the bus, you're going to know why. Buster is a 30-foot-long 1965 Chevy bus that looks like it was built by Smurfs. When Greg first got his hands on Buster, it had already been modified. The previous owner welded the top section of two VW vans to the top of the bus. There were windshields at each end. Greg says that having upper windows made it possible to cover the lower windows, which made for a more buildable wall space. The front section of the bus had a VW pop-top, which gave him access to the rear deck on top, which lets in cool air during the summer. Greg wanted to be sure that he had everything that he'd ever need in the bus. He installed a fully functioning kitchen, complete with a sink, a stove top, an oven, and a dishwasher. Since Greg believes in simple living, he very rarely uses those appliances. He says that he'd rather just keep a couple of buckets in his dishwasher that fit in the sink side by side. After doing the dishes, he'll use the dirty dishwasher to water the shrubs and the trees and the orchard that he takes care of. He does this in exchange for having a place to park his bus. Greg says that without Buster and the Orchard Trade Agreement, he'd have a hard time getting by on his small fixed income. Greg has always been a man of nature, so he decided to bring some of that nature into the bus. He used some old cedar logs for the cabinetry in his bus. He says that he redid the entire interior to create an organic, curving, and flowing light-filled room using cedar trees that have been bent by time and weather. Greg is not a wealthy man, so much of the interior was repurposed from items he already had. For example, his countertops and kitchen table were all made of an old cedar chest that was given to him by his daughter. The floor was redone with salvaged groove planks. He also created a copper top for his stove. When it's not being used, the copper top is an extension of the table space. For heat, he installed a wood stove, making it possible for him to stay on the bus even when temperatures outdoor drop below zero. Greg's bus is a masterpiece. There aren't many people who'd have a chance to retire to their dream home, but he found a way to do it. What do you think? Is this a lifestyle you could spend the rest of your life in? Tell us in the comments below and subscribe for more.